Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Bishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ when the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, read the question carefully and write your answer in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. Now question which of the reaction results in formation of a pair of enantiomer? Now if you read four options, actually four options are four reactions. They are looks like they are nucleophilic substitution. Actually, you may consider, sir, when there is a chance of nucleophilic substitution, there is a chance of elimination. Is elimination possible? Answer is no. Because remember, in no option, heating is written. So, for elimination to get preference over nucleophilic substitution, generally heating is needed. So, here the question is associated with nucleophilic substitution. And if I divide nucleophilic substitution, it has two methods or two mechanisms. One is SN1, another is SN2. Now read the question. Results in a formation of pair of enantiomer. In which of the mechanism a pair of enantiomer produced? Actually, we say in SN1 reaction, racemization is obtained. What does mean by racemization? So if you start with the optically active substrate, if the substrate undergo SN1 pathway, it will result the two enantiomer in equal amount, 50-50 or 1 is to 1. So both of the enantiomer will be produced in the same amount. So you can understand it will result a pair of enantiomer in SN2. Actually, it results in inversion in configuration. So both of the enantiomer will not be produced, only one will be produced. So what is actually the question? Which of the reaction follows SN1 pathway such that a pair of enantiomer or racemic mixture could be obtained? So this is the actual question. I think if you got the right answer at this situation, I suggest pause the video, write your answer in the comment box. Now let's go to the main discussion. Now look at the option number D first. Now I have represented that this carbon should be optically active, but it is a false representation as both side is ethyl. So it is not at all optically active. So it doesn't matter. If the two substituents are not different, so they will not produce enantiomer. So here it is not optically active. So if this option is actually a useless option. Next option among A, B and C. Let's look at. Now if you look at option number A. So it's a cyanide given, DMSO given. What is this? Generally, we have studies that first of all, cyanide is a good nucleophile. Not only that, I cannot give cyanide only. I need to give a metal cation, for example, sodium, cyanide, potassium, cyanide, anything. So this metal cation could be solvated by this DMSO. By the way, I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on that nucleophilic substitution and role of solvent. Please visit for further learning. So this DMSO, this sulfur is delta plus, oxygen is delta minus. By the way, in some cases, you see these canonical forms also means sulfur carrying positive charge, oxygen carrying negative charge. So what is the message I want to give that? Okay, DMSO is a very polar aprotic solvent. So it stabilizes the cation only. So similarly, actually, you may consider like six oxygen from this six DMSO. So similar, I'm not drawing other part, just oxygen here, here here and here. So six oxygen are actually contributing or delocalizing or coordinating this potassium plus. Now if these delta negative oxygens are con coordinating to potassium plus, it means it will stabilize the potassium plus. So the cation will be selectively stabilized. I repeat, because of this polar nature of DMSO, it will stabilize the cation selectively. Consequently, the anion will be bare or you can see free. So its reactivity will enhance further. So obviously, it is actually a good nucleophile. And because of this selective sol solvation of the positive charge, it became even better nucleophile. So what it will result? Nucleophilicity increases, better nucleophile. So it will result inversion in configuration or SN2 mechanism. In SN2 inversion takes place, so you can expect, okay, sir, this hydrogen goes up and my cyanide nucleophile goes down. So here I will not get pair of enantiomer. I will get inversion, only one enantiomer I'll get. 
Now let's look at the option C. So here what happens? In this example, you can clearly see, okay, there are actually two chiral centers. One chiral center here, another is here. By the way, if you look at this carbon, it is actually a tertiary carbon. So it doesn't matter what is my nucleophile, what is my solvent, I am solvating the counter cation. For example, you have taken KOH. Counter cation, so nucleophilicity increases, doesn't matter. Since it's a tertiary halide, so SN2 not possible, only SN1 possible. Now, if it is SN1, then you can say, sir, it was your question. SN1, racemization, so is it answer? No, 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 it is not that much easy. Now, look at, so I can say two isomer will be produced. So, by the way, this is methyl. So, okay, one case, you will get methyl bottom, OH top, and this side, whatever there. And the, in the second case, along with this, it will produce OH on the top. Sorry, here OH is top and here methyl top, OH bottom. So both of the isomer could be produced in equal amount. But by the way, are they enantiomer? Answer is no. They are not enantiomer, student. They are diastereoisomer or diastereomer okay why because look at this chiral center is same for both of them they are not mirror image if i say enantiomer i am talking about non superimposable mirror image but in this case they are not mirror image so according to my question i have asked that formation of enantiomer but here enantiomer is not produced so this option is also gone now, which one is remaining? You can say, sir, you have designed, you have selected the options in such a way that you will ultimately end up to the right answer. Yes. Okay. Now, explain. Now, it is water. By the way, water is not at all a good nucleophile. And if you look at it, it's a secondary substrate. We know secondary substrates can show mixed kinetics, SN1 and SN2. But, but nucleophile part, if you look at, it is a poor nucleophile. Water is a poor nucleophile. Okay. If you compare water versus hydroxyl minus hydroxyl is a good nucleophile, but it was a tertiary substrate. So that time it didn't work. But here water. So it is a poor nucleophile. So you do not expect that. Okay. SN2 will be preferred. No. Now, if you look at iodide, it is also a good living group. So what can happen? It will leave and it will produce a carbocation. Carbocation, I mean, here you can see this is plus charge. By the way, when carbocation is produced, this asymmetry will be lost because carbocation, if I say it is actually a sp2 hybridized, it is a planar and it has a weakened p orbital this way. Here is a p orbital and p orbital have both lobe. Now the water molecule which is acting as a nucleophile here. So it has two chances. So this water can be attached any one of the lobe with equal probability. I'm saying if water attached this side, so okay, you can have this compound. So, okay, you can expect that, sir, this side OH. Actually, by the way, water will be added in first step, second step, H plus will come out. So in this way, it will produce, so okay, you can expect the, there is actually hydrogen and there is methyl and here OH. Okay, fine. Now, if the water molecule attach from a different side, what do I mean? If it attach from this side, both side attachment have equal probability. So, what will be the product? So, here you can expect that, okay, this side will be OH, this side will be H, this side will be ME. By the way, you may ask one question, sir. From your drawing, it doesn't look like they are enantiomer. Agree. Remember what I have done. I have kept everything as it is. I have just changed this two. Remember one statement. Single exchange changes the configuration. Double exchange doesn't change the configuration. I repeat my statement. Single exchange of the position of atom changes the configuration. Double exchange doesn't change configuration. And if you say enantiomer, they have opposite. If one is R, another will be S. If one is S, another will be R. So, from that point I have drawn. If you want to draw properly, you can. No problem. Now, 
here i what i said that both of the enantiomers so by the way they are mirror image isomer or you can say they are enantiomer okay so they are produce 50 51 is to 1 so they are actually enantiomer so only option b will result in enantiomer because the reaction proceeds through is in one pathway where this carbocation intermediate and the nucleophile equally attached to the both of the lobes of the p orbital and after this water addition it removes one h plus and produces this oh group okay so it is actually nucleophilic substitution and we have explained that option c it produces diastereomers not enantiomer or mirror image isomers okay so this is the overall discussion what is the answer answer is option b is our right answer now if this question appear in your exam how can you solve it less than 30 second for that purpose look at the question you need to find out that they have asked about the sn1 which follow sn1 okay enantiomer and without thinking if you look at option d enantiomer not possible because these two sides same as i told gone now your this discussion is among this three now when you are saying enantiomer nucleophilic substitution doing at a particular side along with that there is a neighboring chiral center so it will result diastereomer gone now this two option gone using process of elimination now if you look at cyanide dmso remember cyanide is a good nucleophile dmso is a polar aprotic solvent selectively stabilizes the cation such that nucleophile become free and more reactive so obviously sn2 what is remaining sn1 this one so whatever i told you need to think little faster for that purpose more study more practice okay so this is the overall discussion i think you have learned a lot and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and regarding any doubt about lo the logo of my channel please read this part your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video bye bye